information like this, it will make them easy for us for know who side if for focus in attention for try for satisfy the people in the country. And so for Sierra Leone, uh, you know, they've been on the conduct census day, everything, yes, starting from 1963, then conduct one in 1963, and then, then conduct another one in 1974, and another one in 1985, and another one in 2004, and then the last one they don't conduct in 2015. And so, uh, looking at all the problems where Sierra Leone don't go through, some of which we say is necessary for law to take a critical look at this very important data we statistics Sierra Leone don't provide. Uh, statistics Sierra Leone, as we all know, now the government body that one they were responsible for counting people in the country. Now then the country, now then they tell the the government and the whole world for say now this number of people and they in this country. And this is not the, character, the characteristics of the demographics of the country, you know. And so, based on the, the data, whether they provide the government, they implement development programs and uh, fund uh, services that for benefit people. And so, the 2015 population and housing census uh, report way statistics Sierra Leone provide to the government of Sierra Leone and now endorsed by the President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, His Excellency Dr. Anes Baikroma. Now, a very important report because the, the future development of Sierra Leone is dependent on that report. If Salonga for go before, if Salonga for go bien, if uh, people get for suffer more, or if people get for, you know, enjoy the country, it will come out from that report this report will we talk about today and so we don't take them upon or upon we say for make sure say we talk about this report here small because uh a very vital just uh, based on the explanations the way i don't try for you now people in the winner expects that when you know statisticians you know when you know people away uh, vast in the when are their expertise then vast in the areas and they, but at least by the report way they don't put in the public domain the declassified report within the public domain by looking at that report we go able for do your interpretations and so let me take a look at the 2015 population and housing census where this uh, statistics really provide to the government all right and when we talk about that what are we talking about we are actually talking about this report this report right here is a very essential report. The Sierra Leone 2015 Population and Housing Census Provisional Result. And you see all the half half logo they want to see at the bottom of this report. That are the different different organizations that around the world we help Sierra Leone for conduct this census. And so then people they all not to salon and they you see like British aid, you know, UK aid, you see uh Irish aid, you see uh other areas then, you know, I think that human rights something, you know, you see they all this not big big international organizations the way that they expect good things for come out of this report. You know, because if you say this go able for 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 position the government for able for provide good services then for Sierra Leone. So we're not go so far, you know. Until we all can talk, say, oh, so I don't get 32 minerals or 20 something minerals, Sierra Leone, and just uh, so so amount of people who are not supposed to suffer. Well, the 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 development of Sierra Leone did come up from information like that one there. So a very important Sierra Leone as they follow they pay attention to this kind of report. Alright? And so moving forward, you know, for let the issue a report like this, statistics Sierra Leone first of all give the background information first. Then give a reason why they they even issue this report, right? Then give a background information. We na wait to make then they conduct census in the country, how they put the uh, the census stuff together, and waiting and waiting na the things that we then consider. You know, why is that they count people in the country? Which are things that we then consider we very essential, we very important, right? And so let we take a look at the background with the key for why they are even, you know, conducting the census, right? Let's look at it. And we get for try with level best for reading to you verbatim. You know, we found with them. For that one, they will not they understand English. We will try with level best for paraphrasing to you for make you go able for understand what they will talk about. But uh, this, now the, now the background information 
this way, statistics that you give as a reason why they conduct this census. And what they say is. Uh, that the Sierra Leone 2015 population and housing census was designed to deepen our democracy by providing data which the National Election Commission would use in the demarcation of constituencies, wards, and the allocation of representation on governing bodies. Census data also plays an in indispensable role in ensuring equitable allocation of national funds and services. The census also provides data for the calculation of social indicators, particularly those that are needed for small areas or small population groups as well as those that may be observed infrequently in the population. Now the 2015 census questionnaires collected a wide range of demographic and socio-economic data, age and sex composition, economic characteristics, education, fertility, etc. And for the first time in the history of Sierra Leone, data on maternal mortality and Ebola socioeconomic impacts. The census has three distinct phases, namely the preparatory phase, the enumeration phase, and the post-enumeration phase. The preparatory work for the 2015 Population and Housing Census started in 2012. The major activities in this phase were questionnaire design, census mapping, and conducting of the pilot census. The development of the census questionnaire was highly consultative in an effort to accommodate the views of the various stakeholders, right? The views of the various stakeholders. This involves the organization on consultative meetings to collect views on the data requirements from various categories of data users, including central government, local government, civil society, and development partners. All right? And so this is the background information where statistics are learned and give for why they conduct the census. Some of the key information we me able to get out of that background information where they don't give force is that one, then they conduct census in a country for able for provide information where very important to the elect national Elec uh, election commission or the national electoral commissions. You know, when that information wouldn't go use for demarcate, eh? for me they able for cut boundaries then for constituencies and wards. You know, so meaning that the census data with statistics Sierra Leone don't provide right now is very important for the 2018 presidential and parliamentary elections because the National Electoral Commission they use this report for able for demarcate areas they all refer to as constituencies and areas they all refer to as wards. Okay, so very important. So if you be Sudan and so the Nippon can't come to you not the inside, then of course these are the repercussions you will get because now you are not part of the census and when they do all this demarcation, we don't even know if they have involved people in there. Okay, the other reason we they give was the reason why they conduct the census now for me they're able for provide data or information to government. So government will use that information they for able for provide development programs and for fund services then for help people. Then. All right? That is a legitimate reason. The two reasons they are very legitimate, you know? And then of course, before they, they provide this, then they do even the census, then they count people, then, then say, then go hold meetings with the central government, then at the president, the cabinet, and all of them. And then the local government, then are like paramount chief, then town chief, the local uh, district, I mean, uh, how they call them, tribal councillors, you know, uh, or chief councillors, the whole meeting with them. Because you get to consult with them for make you able to understand which are the important things that way vital to them population there before you even come to them. All right? So we don't know if they ever discuss this with paramount chiefs then, or, you know, uh, or the chief them authorities. Because when I say local government, that is where local government is. All right, so we don't know if they discuss that with them. So, but this is not the background information. Anyway, they don't sense, uh, conduct the census now. So, after they don't conduct the census, according to the 2015 census report, what would they look at? Uh, what would they look at today? Statistics Sierra Leone don't talk say inside the country we get uh, 7 million. Eight, uh, seven million seventy-five thousand six hundred and forty-one Sierra Leoneans. Then are the population total for of Sierra Leoneans according to the 2015 census report. Seven million seventy-five thousand six hundred and forty-one people. All right. 
So, and to all be the talk trade, they say we have six million people, and we have six million people. Them now that number they don't jump to seven million. So we don't know whether this uh, report, now report will go rely on based on. To Sierra Leoneans, and for many say, you know, this report here will go use them or a good for the country or not good for the country. Or maybe if another government can inside, we're not to this uh, current government, then go decide whether this report would be issued. They go able for use uh, that report day for able for deploy, uh, de uh, de uh, how they call it, for able for implement development programs in the country. All right, but right now, according to the 2015 census report, now seven million seventy-five thousand six hundred and forty-one people in the country, and so we want to take a look at. The different different population censuses where uh, will be done the conduct in Sierra Leone from 1963 to 19, I mean to 2015. Let us take a look at the kind way where the population of Sierra Leone don't grow over the years. You know, let us take a look at how the population don't grow over the years. Whether you know uh, too much lapses than they between the growth numbers, or whether it consistent with you know with see how the growth will done to take place. Uh, you know. Thinking about the fact that we have had a 11 year civil war, where according to the Human Rights Watch, about 50,000 Sierra Leoneans then died inside that war. There are about 2 million Sierra Leoneans were displaced, some of whom became refugees in other countries. And so, thinking about all of that, with the tribe of factor, the number, this number inside it. And for comparing with the, 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 the way we population we don't add up in Sierra Leone from 1963 to 2015. So let us take an exclusive look at that and see where we stand. All right. And so uh, looking at these numbers right here, population distribution, right? 1963, we'll get 2,180,355 people in the country. All right, and then 1974 we get 2,735,159 people in the country. So, meaning that there was a population growth of 554,804 people. Now, now they add from 1963 to 1974, 554,804 people. Now they add up. All right. And then 1985, we've been get a 3,515,812 people. Now, between 1974 and 1985, how many people they add up for uh, to the population of Sierra Leone? 780,653,000. All right? Uh, 780,653. All right? Now they add. How about 2004? 2004, the population rise up to 4,900, no, 4,976,871 uh, people. Right? So, what's the difference? How many people they add up to the country's population uh, between 1985 and 2004? Now, 1,461,059 people that they add up. Right? This is that between 1985 and 2004, the population don't go up. You see, we're already talking about 5 million people there. So it's almost that number. And then 2015, the population don't jump to 7,075,641 people. All right? How many people added between 2004 and 2015? 2,098,770 people. Now they add up to the number in 2015. All right. So, you know, there has been a steady growth of population in Sierra Leone. But what's that me get concerned now between 1985 and 2004? Now, 1 million people, I would say almost 1.5 million people, now they add up to the population. Hmm? Even though there was war later on in 1995, all the way to 22, uh, 2002. Right. And then uh, 2 million people add up to the population between 2004 and 2015. Now, that is a little worrying me. I don't know how objective that number is. I'm not doubting anybody in our statistics right now. Because we get hopes say maybe we'll be able to bring them camp and talk to them exclusively about these numbers. I mean, or about the uh, 2015 uh, population and housing census report where they don't issue out. 
So maybe we'll be able to talk to them. But anyway, let me look, take an exclusive look at how the 2015 population report, where statistics are you know, presented with, how then distributor, how then distributor, you know, by regions of Sierra Leone. We get four regions. How then distributed by then region in this. So let's take a look at that. All right. Now, this is how the population is distributed by regions. All right. Now, the, the, the region, according to the 2015 population and housing census report, the region will get the highest amount of people in Sierra Leone as of today, 2017. Now, now Northern Province. Let's see them get 2,502,805 people. Alright? The second way get the highest now eastern region or eastern province. Let's see they get 1,641,012 people. Now eastern province. And then next to eastern province is western area. Let's see they get 1,493,252 people. Alright? And then the last but not the least is Southern Province. Surprisingly, amazingly, they say Southern Province get the least amount of people in Sierra Leone. One million four hundred and thirty-eight thousand uh, five hundred and seventy-two people. All right. So now, so they don't distribute the population of the country. This is how the population is being distributed, and so it is a surprising thing to uh, many of us for see these numbers how they are being distributed. Because some of you believe you say, uh, you know, either Bo go be the first or it go be the second by this map here. I mean, Southern Province, not Bo particularly, but Southern Province, right? But now, so the numbers they don't display according to statistics, Sierra Leone, the population distribution by country. But then, if we get for make a reference back to the background information with statistics, Sierra Leone, and year as to why they even conduct the census. Some of the key informations where they look for now one now the age of the people that whether they count because now they're very vital especially that Sierra Leone they go towards election year the country is supposed to know from this uh, po population census because this information either don't present to the national electoral commission the citizens of Sierra Leone deserve the right to know how many people they weigh statistics Sierra Leone count when are 18 years and above, we're eligible to vote in Sierra Leone. We're probably not only they decide whether for vote or not for vote, but at least by providing that age, we will go able for know how many people and they, you know, how many people that you know go register for vote. But that information, let's see. So there is a missing data in this entire report because we don't take a look at this report we have not been able to see ages of people that they counted so that is the missing data ages of Sierra Leoneans counted during the census especially by regions now who can vote all right this is the information that statistics Sierra Leone, for some reason they don't omit them from this report they have not included that information in this report and some of us don't know why but Sierra Leoneans, they need for pay specific attention to this particular area of the report where they don't omit, especially political parties in the country. We don't need for pay attention to this because after the census, even the government want for know how many people them we will go call them picking them in the country. You know how many people they will go call, uh, you know adults, people that are over eighteen years and above. How many people that are old in the country? Of course, the only thing when they show inside this report now: male, female, male, female, male, female, male, female. That's it. All right. I look, look for the ages. I cannot see it because I was looking at the, a point where, wherein I go able for see Northern Province people eighteen years and above. This is their number. Eastern Province people eighteen years and above. This is their number. But that number is not there in this report so that is the missing data and a very important why statistics really decided to leave that very very vital data out that is the question we wanted to bring to our people all right i think say that is very very important and so we will go further 
you know, outside of the report, for actually see, you know, well, let us not go outside of the report first. Let us show you now exactly the actual report itself. You know how the report look like. Let's uh, show you that live. Okay. So, okay. So we're gonna bring you the report right here. All right. And so, Mifamuren, uh, let us take an exclusive, exclusive look at this report. This is the report we are talking about right here. Of course, this is the background. All right, the background where I've been just read to now in this. And over here, we get the distribution of chiefdoms and enumeration areas by administrative district. 2015 census provisional results. All right, provisional, I don't know what it mean, but it looks like say what you say provisional means you know really uh, don't submit the final report yet. But anyway, would they look at this one first? So this now uh, the, the 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 headings then are the province, the district, the chiefdoms or wards and enumeration and enumeration areas. All right now the information that's on that table. And this one right here, now the distribution of population 1963 to 2050 by administrative districts. So per this particular report right here, waiting no more the show now the administrative districts, then are all the 12 districts in Sierra Leone in the western area. And then 1963 population, 1974, 1985, 2004, 2015. They not give you any information on people's ages. And then we go further. We see distribution of population by sex and administrative districts. So now they give all the divisions. And then they give the people that whether they're male, how many male, you know, like when they say Eastern Province, how many males in Eastern Province, how many females in Eastern Province. Then now for 2004 and 2015, then just compare the two as uh, uh, two censuses, two reports, right? Okay, so now just the sex by administrative districts, now then give us so by this one, they're not you know age now as well, no age, uh, how many people they old, and so over here, then give uh, population distribution by chiefdoms and sex. So now then don't go by chiefdoms. So like we then take Eastern Province, then go Kailan District, then go all the chiefdoms in a Kailan District, then give the total number of male and female and their sex ratio. No information about age. Hmm? Then I continue all the way down. Then give them by all the districts in the country, all the districts and all the chiefdoms in the country. Now this is not Northern Province. The same thing. They're not give nothing but age. All right, nothing but age. I did good also. Now they report the good also. Today they go na you know uh, 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 how they call them Southern Province, right? They not give no information, no information at all. And a 14 page now with within a page 14. Now it, it is still continue.
All right, all right. Right. Come with them. Come with them. Uh, uh, just like how they explain you now. now. Of course, right, right now, now we get we a get special guest way here for Talk to Me today. Of course, this is not a possible way no new. new. As far as the Australian politics is concerned and as far as development as the is concerned. This is not somebody who would stand up to the incumbent government, you know, incumbent political party in Sierra Leone, all people's congress. And of course, I know they talk about any other person, and they talk about somebody where you're familiar with. And then Mr. Uh, Mohamed Cameron by Mansare. Again, for talk to we today from Maryland in the United States. Of course, Asidena also on a visit. You know, saying a man as a day, and so he didn't have for visit we. So now an opportunity for let we go able for talk to a brother like this, we possibly go be with next president Nasir Leone. Hello, Mr. Uh, Mansare. How are you doing, sir? Um, thank you. I do very well. Um, I'm so happy and excited for that day today. And um, like I said, a very, very um, season greetings to all listeners and viewers and, and compliments of the season. Right. And so we we very much delighted as usual. Anytime we, we bring you come for talk to you, we are very much uh, delighted. Of course, we know say you just come us alone, come. So we know one for waste time for talk to you uh, exclusively about uh, Sierra Leone. And so, waiting at the state of affairs in the country, like how you left them, waiting at the message where you go able for give about Sierra Leone. Um, thank you again. And um, the message in uh, Sierra Leone right now, um, especially what I left the country, Salon the bleed, Salon down the uh, country where the majority of Sierra Leoneans are not can afford, even waiting for it in the morning. They're not able to afford for taking them picking to a better school in the country. Um, the cost of living is so high. I left the dollar now is almost close to 800,000 leons per hundred dollars. It's 8,000 leons per one dollar. That's how bad the bag of rice it's about 250,000 leons. Um, the fuel now per liter is about 6,000 leons. The unemployment rate, the people who will not get work in the salon, they're over 80% of Sierra Leoneans that not get work in the country. This is how pathetic, this is how bad, this is how miserable this current APC government, after nine years of President Anes by Koroma, in governance, now this you don't left the country and the people them. You know, it saddened me when you did see um, all over the country where they go villages them, where they go towns, where they go chiefdoms, where they go now the cities them. The people that all they can say is, we just want to get food now plate. We just want to be able to feed with picking them. We just want to go somewhere to sleep. So the most basic things then, where you they say the most basic food and shelter. We said for sleep and waiting for eat. The average majority say Alunians are not get them. And there's no prosperity. There's no better life if you not champion those two things. Who said motor man they sleep because they get good health. Mosquitoes them and uh, the rain season will come not to leak and all the diseases there and good food. So those are the two major things that we this government and the past SLPP government don't fail the people them of this country. So if you ask me, could just in a snapshot about what's in the current affairs, um, Sierra Leone, they bleed, it they bleed, and it they bleed. Wow. You know, uh, very recently we talked to the Minister of uh, Tourism and Cultural Affairs, uh, Mr. Sidia Tunis. He paints a completely different picture. Uh, from waiting, you don't tell. We you tell. We say the austerity measures they've been introduced um, because it's been necessary because the government not be able to afford the uh, subsidy anymore for fuel, and so that the people are getting along well, that people that they travel around that in order hit them very, very too much, like how you don't explain. And so I want to focus on the area of transportation. We don't hear you say. Problem don't come out, you know, especially with transportation, wherein the transportation costs don't go high, 
and that drivers they not get change for gear passengers them because they don't put the transportation cost to two thousand leons or even more. So we passengers they don't pay this once they don't count on the driver not get change for gear them and they run with Imotuka. So I want for let you tell we if how the ordinary civilian they actually handle this issue of austerity measures in Salon. Um, this austerity measures now sham. From what I mean sham now just a fake way for fool the people of this country. Mm -hmm. And also for really pacify the international community for say the APC government to do something. Mm -hmm. Nine years in governance. This is not to today. In fact, if you um, for being get some of the recording where I don't do with you, mm -hmm. you uh, interviews them before, mm -hmm. you go see years ago, three years ago, right? me, myself, a leader and chairman of mm -hmm. the Alliance Democratic Party, mm -hmm. a presidential candidate for 2018, mm -hmm. I call on the president and this APC government, say, then they misuse your economy, the corruption so blatant, and the country, they can go down because Sierra Leone, we economy, way we get we all money in the country this government over 60 percent of we money in the country mm -hmm. then just they pay themselves salary mm -hmm. bonuses and 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 you know benefits buy mutka them then eighty thousand dollar land cruisers them for the drive mm -hmm. no country not to survive mm -hmm. and be a better country when you spend 80 percent of your income six, over 60 percent of your income just for pay yourself so waiting left mm -hmm. now about 35 percent or so and then go for pay the because this president don't don't, don't learn over six billion dollars from nine years ago will be so we go for pay then then debt then day and then money no go for left for make this country you don't when maybe don't call on this president since 2013 to 14 before even the bola come now say this country here it will go down and this president in motoke when i motoke alone it get over 20 motorcade or more to 30 we can pass go up and down where they go walk or go up and down where the whole country the ambulance they will be get now about six or seven ambulances them before the ebola come right. how a country you motorcade you and the vice president when i get over 20 to 30 motorcade land cruisers they 80 000 motorcade they go up and down mercedes benz them when the whole country the ambulance is about seven so you don't see what we don't talk say this country need austerities or whatever you want to call it now. But one year to when the one left, now the ten the one can fool the people and now say, oh, we they can't do austerity measures. No. This was um five years ago, seven years ago, three years ago, six years ago, we get the same problem where they go on at the country. It just not happen just all of a sudden. In fact, waiting car would enter there when the president in September or so, it came with over 50 entourage. In Aminaya, we say they spend over 1 million US dollar. It charge a one old plane. We can sit down in New York for a couple of days for wait for and take with the, uh, the convention done or and I return back with the plane. So those are the kind of things we may be calling on this president and the government say that they misuse we we country we economy and at that make now not too long then go begin to say oh we they cut down on travels we they do this this like i tell you this is all baloney this is all a way we don't want fool the people of this country but when me na one me na the voice of the voiceless in that mm -hmm. country i can always come for tell people in the truth so this austerity measures the like way you act so it's not just it's just a drama then just the act What's in this APC good at? Mm -hmm. Now for act. Right now you see the ministers and they travel. They wear to shirt them for take pictures and send them on social media. Then they go do this. And then just the act. Then just the launch. What's in the launch? Nine years, you know, they see nothing. You go over and say, oh, the youth program, they can't launch a youth village. There's no youth village. Where they can't launch this. There's nothing. Then just the full people them. And then rhetorics wait on so much. And I they tell you, enough is enough. The people of this country, they don't tire and um no amount of foolery no amount of technique for come act go work again so like i say mm -hmm. the country the country don't get sense the people are smarter and come 2018 then go make a better choice for remove the ally um the apc and put adp the uh, kamarimbana state house 
And so, uh, Mr. Mansouré, you know, who can talk to APC uh, government officials, including the presidential spokesman, you know, the ministers in government, the secretary general of the party, you know, they can always say, we say, you know, other countries there around the world don't introduce austerity measures because then look at and say, unnecessary for a country. But then when we look at some other countries, then where they introduce austerity measures, where they see then leadership, they take responsible actions then for able for proof to the citizens then for say the minimum by either riding transportation, I mean pa passenger transportation, flying, you know, passenger planes and stuff like that. From your observation at the country, you don't see anything like this on the part of the government operatives for say, then they do things the way the lay Sierra Leonean go look at and talk, say, you know what, see, then man, they are then set up the sofa just like how they suffer. Then they take the austerity measures seriously. Absolutely not. Uh, my brother, this, like I say, the austerity in a provocative term and then come for just fool the people of this country. They're not taken serious. Like you are breaking news. Mm -hmm. I just this morning I received a, a, a copy of um, an invitation where they go on today, Na McKinney, mm -hmm. where the APC Secretary General, mm -hmm. uh, in courtesy of the President, and it's by Kuruma, mm -hmm. then they launch a fundraising. Guess how much they charge for just can inside that hall? Mm -hmm. Now one thousand dollars. This is not the mini five million leons. Mm -hmm. Five million leons per person for just can inside and see the one raise money for go build the two million dollar office with and dip and plan for building a McKinney. Mm -hmm. This is this is just a breaking news to you now. Wow. Um, it then gets her now, like I tell you, um, the president tonight. Then they there now as we talk now McKinney, where every minister, deputy minister. Honorables and directors, commissioners, them, they mm -hmm. all get for go pay that five, five million leons. And the Secretary General did state, say five, five million leons for entrance. So if these people are more serious, how then go go tax ministers, uh, deputy, whatever, five million leons, when are close to almost a thousand dollars, just for go say that they raise fund to themselves. Then I want, let's like come back to another thing, them, we they see how this um, government. They just they use um, loose words just for fully people and like austerities. Mm -hmm. um, like you say, then the president still they continue in convoy. The VP then they go up and down. Um, then they uh, he just don't hire another youth aide now in office because he pulled by Mahmoud. When I be the presidential youth aide, they make a minister of youth. And not too long ago, um, after the austerity measures, he appoints another one at that position they just know no matter there's a lot of things that will not change at all like i say they see ministers them i just they see minister they participate so they go home, saudi arabia they take pictures them you they see um um you know then just they do things that will not ever change you right. know um like i tell you those are the kind of things them way you they see where this country um uh, this president then just they lose those words for fully pull them the people already suffer now now the ordinary Sierra Leoneans and at the street we're not getting for eat. We're not get transportation means for go one side because like how you talk so we said they pay one thousand and a two thousand leons and then like how you say it's just so much mm -hmm. um, to a point that way. Um, right now the people are hopeless and right now the people and just the wait for savior. I they return back the seventh of January na na Freetown. Um, people they can't wait for can receive me all over the country for me they can receive me from Ferry Junction. Um, that by up gone under, they, they go with me all the way in my office, not the of the street. The people in just they call, they, they send me messages, them they don't tire and they don't tire because this APC government don't completely fail them and they don't get hope with the SFPP government because right now SFPP just they fight their own shadow, they don't get the